Hi, my name is Moyash. I spent years looking for a simple, stable, and black VLC skin. Then, I decided to create it myself. In this video, I will show you how to download and install a black skin for VLC Media Player on your Windows PC. So, let's begin. This skin is a completely new project created from scratch. It is not a modifying of an old VLC skin. It is made by VLC Skin Editor and all graphics made by Inkscape software. To download the skin, please hit the link in the description to open this page. Scroll down. Go to Files. Now, click on the download icon to download the compressed file. If you can't see this window, you need to allow pop-up windows in your browser. Click download then OK. Extract the compressed file using any software you have. I recommend using 7-zip and open the folder containing the skin. Here it is. Now, to install the skin, open VLC Media Player. Click Tools menu. Then, Preferences. Choose Use Custom Skin and click Save. Close that and open VLC again. This is the default skin included in VLC. Close that. Now, go to the VLC destination folder. In the normal case, it will be in C partition. Program files. Video LAN. VLC. Now, open the folder skins. and move the new skin here. Close that. And close that. And open VLC. Right click and choose interface. Select skin. Here is the new skin below the default skin. Just choose it. And now you have it. Now, let me give you a preview of the skin to know what you are going to download and use. This is how it looks when you open VLC. I put the media control buttons at the left bottom. The pause button appears when playing a file. And that is how it looks when you pause VLC. The time bar is some kind of red color. And when you hover this box, it will show the playing time this button to play the previous file in the playlist, the button to stop the LC, the button to play the next file in the playlist, repeatings options, click it for once to repeat all files in the playlist, click it again to repeat only the playing file, click it again to stop repeating, at the right bottom, the volume icon, click to mute. Click again to unmute the volume bar to control the volume level. And when you hover this box, it will show the exact volume in percentage. Elapsed time to total time of the playing file. And this angle at the corner to resize the VLC window. At the left top, the LC logo. At the right top. An option to set VLC always on top. Media information icon. Hover it to show the name of the playing file. And click it to open media information window. The button to open playlist. The button to open equalizer. 
and here is an icon to show the skin information. I didn't put this icon in the main player window to not disturb you. Exit button to close VLC. A minimize button. The full screen button. Here, I want to clear that the first design had a maximize button. But when I clicked maximize, I found that VLC covered the taskbar area as you see. The same problem happened with the default skin. And happened even in Linux machines. I think it is some kind of VLC bugs. So, I removed the maximize button and I used the full screen button instead. And I think that is okay. Because maximizing a video became an old fashioned. No one watch videos in maximize mode these days. People usually watch videos in small window or in full screen mode. Now, let's play some media files and see the new skin in action. I have some media files here. Just double click any file and minimize that. When playing a file, the elapsed time will be an orange color and it turns to white when you pause, as you see now. And when stopping VLC, the time disappears. Mute and unmute. Volume level can be raised to 200%. Resizing VLC from here. Time bar is goodly sensitive. You can click at any part of it to change the time position. To move VLC, just hold and drag from the bottom panel or from the top panel. Double click the top panel for full screen mode. The same for the bottom panel and exit full screen from this icon. Hover here to show the name of the playing file. Click it for media and codec information. Let's test the always on top option. Open notepad. Turn it on. Nice. Turn it off. Open playlist. Let's add some other files. Collapsing playlist off and on. Play next file. As you see, the name of the playing file will be in orange color. Play the previous. Works great. Do remove items from the playlist, just choose them and click remove. To add items, click on the plus icon and choose add. Then, browse for your files. Select the file, and, if you click play, it will be add and played. For just adding a file to the playlist, click this triangle here, and choose enquit. And here it is. To save the playlist for later time, click this icon here, and give it a name. Click save. And, you can, later, open VLC playlist, and, click on, load playlist. Browse, and, choose. Then, click, open. Here, they are. When, clicking, this icon, the files, will be, arranged, by name. As you see. This icon to play files in random order, choosing random 
will play the files in the playlist, not in sequence. And please note, when opening playlist, this icon will be in orange. But when choose random, it will be in blue. Even if you close the playlist, it will stay in blue to notify you that you made some changes. And when you click it, you will find the random icon in the same blue color. Let's check how it works. I clicked next and it played a previous file. Next, again, played the last file. Turn it off and close playlist. Now, let's open equalizer. Hold and move it from here. Click that to enable equalizer. It will say enabled here. And this icon turns to blue. Even if you close equalizer, it will stay in blue to notify you that you made some changes. So, you open it and disable it if you want. And this icon here to open some information about the skin. You can close it from here or from here. I love VLC. And I hope you like my skin. Give it a try and tell me what you think in the comment section below the video. That's all for this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And consider donating to Moyash on Patreon or PayPal. Thank you for your support. See you next time.